you can collaborate with someone else, they can bring ideas to the table that you maybe haven't thought of and you can use their knowledge and your knowledge combined to create something that's a better solution than either of you could come up perhaps individually. I got involved with Formula SAE uh, my freshman year here at Wayne State. I am the captain of the frame and body subsystems for the Formula SAE team and then I am also the lead of the CAD team. Formula SAE cars are a lot like a big puzzle. It's very difficult for any one person to know about every system in great enough depth to actually design a vehicle. So it really works a lot like a small company where we have to tackle the same kinds of challenges that a business would to make a real product in the real world. You come into a corporation after graduating and you've already worked in a team environment like they're going to prepare you for. You're ahead of someone who hasn't had that experience. So there is this negative stereotype that engineers are antisocial or they just want to work in their labs, but the College of Engineering provides an experience that's completely different from that. The students here are very involved. Last summer I volunteered as a camp instructor for the Tech Toys camp, so we invited elementary school to high school age students to come into Wayne State and learn about engineering. I taught a specific camp called Creating Tech Toys, where we'd program with Lego robots. I definitely want to get younger kids involved and introduce them to the world of engineering because I didn't get to see that until my high school years. It opens up a whole world for them. There's like a lot, a lot of opportunities that engineering can give you. When you see students who want to do what you do and they're like, I want to be you when I grow up, it's kind of like, oh wow, you know, I made a difference. I think working with younger students and doing community service has been very helpful towards making me aware of my surroundings and making me a more compassionate person. You're contributing something out into the world. I was drawn to research because you're doing something new, something that's never been done before. You're kind of pioneering your way for others to follow and um, push that research even further. Our lab is uh, defined as a biomaterials and tissue engineering lab. We can study cell morphology, cell behavior, cell metabolism, and uh, discover and pioneer ways that we can cultivate tissue growth. And this can be applied to um, research, be applied to regenerative medicine if you want to um, help rebuild tissues that are otherwise damaged. What I like about research is that um, it's your own problem and you have to apply the theory that you learn in the classroom to solving a real world problem. A lot of times in research you think about quitting just because it's you have, you're after failure after failure. And research is all about failing until you find that one correct solution. And to find that solution is it's it's awesome. So I think the biggest thing that you see from doing internships is how a company functions. Because you can learn one thing from a book, but I feel that you learn best from actually doing it. I started as an intern at General Motors in 2011, interning every summer since then. I've also had opportunity to intern at Vitek, and I've also done one at Kamau, and I'll be interning at Detroit Diesel this fall. Working in an internship kind of gives you the opportunity to see the corporate side of it, um, learning the company's culture, you know, the dress that's appropriate, the type of behavior that's appropriate. I think that Wayne State is a phenomenal school for practical experience. Everybody who goes to Wayne State who's an engineer is telling me that they're doing some type of internship, some type of experience, some type of research. What I started doing, you know, five years ago has potentially opened up hundreds of doors. So obviously you can sit down in a classroom here at Wayne State and you can work with people who are of many different uh, cultural backgrounds because we are such a fantastically diverse university. But it's completely different to go immerse yourself in a culture where you don't speak the language and you've never been before. Last summer I went to Hangzhou, China and I studied abroad at Zhejiang University of Technology. We actually got to not only just go there and take classes at the university, but we brought Wayne State faculty and they taught a cross-cultural engineering problem-solving course. We were faced with the problem of sustainable transportation. How do we make our global transportation system more sustainable? We were joined by 20 Chinese engineering students of all different disciplines and backgrounds. I still talk to the students that I met last year in China. We brought some of the students from Hangzhou. 
and they are actually here for two weeks and so I got the opportunity to kind of show them around the city and get them used to Detroit. It was very eye-opening to be able to work with people who have such a different educational background and cultural background. What I walk away with is not only a wealth of engineering knowledge, but also that, that cultural intelligence, that soft skill, that, that element that can be the it factor for you in your future career. And I think industry is really looking for that, and they can find it in our graduates. I'm Marissa Mercer. My name is Justin White. My name is Alex Gallardi. My name is Brandon Horsch. My name is Maheen Usker, and I'm a Wayne State engineer. 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 I'm a Wayne State engineer.